Whoa. <laughs> chase the money, chase the money. Bitch, be for real. Jack and Carter here, and um, we're doing yeah, easy trampoline tricks that you can do at home or like sky high or just anywhere where you have like a trampoline. And uh, let's get it. It's called a front flip. So you're gonna jump high and you're gonna push down, but you wanna like pop your butt and like tuck like this. So then you get like a spinning motion going forward and then like get your eye on something like a 45 degree angle and then look at it and then you'll flip and right when you see it again, that's how you know that you can like release and put your feet down. So this is what it looks like. That's fucking how you do it is get about three good bounces, high bounces, and then grab onto your the back of your thighs and it's like a front flip. But instead of going forward like this, send it back kind of like this, like sideways, like this. Okay, so this one's called a swan front flip. So basically it's like a front flip, but instead of just moving all your weight forward, you jump up and you kind of like belly flop. And then like, but while you're in the midair, and once you start to feel yourself going down, you rotate forward. So it's like an add-on to a front flip, except you don't go forward, you just like stop, and then like stop, it's like a belly flop, but then you just go with it. So like, this is it. I'm gonna do a knee front handspring. So this is kind of like, what you do is you can do a knee front, you go like, and just send it. But um, a knee front handspring, you go on your knees, you Push it up and then you flip. It's kind of like a front foot, but you're, you start out like upside down. Okay. This is called a pike flip. So basically, it's like a front flip, it's like an extension. So it's not like a swan flip like I showed you in the last video. So it's like this, and then you rotate over. It's more of like you push your toes while flipping. This is how it's done. This is the, um, oh, the knee flip. <laughs> so um, it's pretty much like the knee front handspring, but like don't use your hands in it. Pretty much a front flip and a knee front handspring combined, but don't use your hands in it. Like this. So this next trick is actually like a training trick for like a backflip. So it's called the kaboom. So basically what you do is you jump back, you land on your back, and then you just like tuck and go back and land on your feet. So then like when you get it down for your backflip, you can just go back without having to go on your back. Okay, this is it. This is a trick, you kind of have to know how to do a backflip. So, when you do a backflip, you usually tuck. But I'm gonna do a no tuck backflip, where you just keep your legs straight the whole time. Which is pretty easy once you get to know how to do it. This is how you do it. This is a flip. It's like a round off. So, basically what you do, is just like a simple cartwheel. But like, Instead of like rotating over it, you would jump off your hand like this. Like this. So basically the key is that, and like, just just work on like a cartwheel, anything that will help you get the movement. So like, and then also this trick's good because like you can like do tricks into it, like combos. So like I could do like a round off into a front flip, or like a round off into a back handspring. Or something like that. This so that trick is called a pike backflip. So it's a tuck backflip pretty much. But keep your feet together like this the whole time. So you tuck and you just send it back. Okay, ready? So for this trick, I'm gonna flip Jack back because some people don't like going back and then go to either one of the sides because they're scared. So here we go. I'm gonna flip Jack back on the count of three. Okay. Three, two, 
one. Got it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.